Good luck. Welcome back. I believe we're in week 205 of the teaching ladder. Each week we get to play a stronger opponent, or a higher rated opponent and a lower rated opponent. And discuss the games afterward and learn something from the experience. Um... Yeah. This is a line. I don't remember it. Um, and I guess I'm fine with that. Typically, I close this diagonal sometime around here because I'm afraid of what's going on. Wrong diagonal bishop is another legal opening possibility here. Um, yeah. I've always been curious about it. Now could be a moment to try something like that. Um, admittedly, like, I'm anxious going into this game already. Um, so, uh, I would like to study the game and take some more time to really prepare. <laughs> um, so I'm not ashamed to try stuff like this before I've done my proper study. Uh, but yeah, when I do have time to cycle back to it, I would like to... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Right, so that's the typical counter. I could not remember it for the life of me. Um, yeah, this is tricky. And then if I take there, they take here. Um, and it's a line. Hmm. I still think I could have something here. This isn't the end of the story. Though them defending this point certainly complicates my situation. It is funny, um, the proverb that we'd loaded before this game. Take heed of two skillful lines. I don't think that refers to opening systems. I think that more refers to um, just depth first search not solving all of your problems. But it could refer to opening systems in some way. Um, but the idea that a little knowledge can be a dangerous thing if you conflate a little knowledge with a lot of knowledge. As long as you understand the difference between a little and a lot of knowledge, um, it's, yeah. Um, or you appreciate that there is such a difference 
then it's fine. But um, to those who would presume that they know a lot on the basis of just knowing a little, that's the thing to be concerned about. Because that's, that's something you can have an awareness of, of like, how much do I actually know? And play based on your actual knowledge level, as opposed to aspirational like where you think you should be don't play something that's that you're not prepared for um now admittedly like i've seen this um as the counter to this and the line i've seen is bishop takes bishop takes and i've seen that that's good for senta I've not seen this line before, though, so I don't know what to think of it. Um, but it wasn't mentioned, so it's probably not that great. Mm -hmm. I expected this. Clearly, if I move the bishop toward the center, they exchange and drop here, and I'm in trouble. So this was my plan. Um, and now this point looks prone, <laughs> so I'm confused. If I push twice, what's going on? Well, there, I mean, there's the concept of what if I wish would happen, and what's the actual situation. I don't think pushing twice solves anything. I think I actually need to build a castle. I don't know what castle I need to build, however. I mean, I guess if the gold lands here, then I can't push this twice without first taking the gold. But if I take the gold, I could drop it here. Um, also, if the gold moves to the center, like there's this open diagonal. don't understand. So I can emulate what my opponent is doing to some degree. I guess I'm threatening to push this next. What the heck? Oh. Interesting. Um, I 
I just let them promote. I was so excited about my attacking prospects here. Um, I was intending silver takes, but this allows a promotion. So I guess what I'm walking into unwittingly is knight takes. Um, if I had my wits about me, I would have played the gold to defend so I could have at least this point covered. Um, but, yeah. Instead, I'm fixated on trying to hit this. Which might be okay, but... Um, yeah, I'm quite excited about this game, aren't I? Alright. So, no time like the present. Um... That's aggressive. I see the general direction that's going next. Um, I could separate my working king before things get too dicey. Or I could lift the gold diagonally upward like they tell you not to do. Um, but the rook's got to be on this open file. I'm so confused. So pawn drop is next, but I could drop a pawn in return. Offer a knight. So they would have gotten a silver and a knight for a bishop. Uh, that's possible. Alternatively, like if I let them in, it's spooky as heck, but um, no, it's not a good idea. Well, yeah, if I let the silver drop here, I'm basically giving away the silver, because otherwise they promote. Um, but... Hmm. Yeah, it's too dangerous. Where's the knight going to attack? Wherever it damn pleases. Um, hmm. Well, okay. Uh, I'm not content with running. I should be, but I'm not. Yep, so here we go. At first glance, like, Silver Drop looks terrifying. Um,
but it seems difficult to follow up. Yes, I just don't see what happens next here. And I might have overthought this, or might be overcomplicating this somehow, but I don't see how. I guess this gold advances, uh, I could retreat, or this token advances, I could retreat my gold. And I guess they continue advancing. Or oh, sorry, if they push this, I have a pawn drop here. Um, if they drop a silver here, I could run away. Oh, but then they're hitting this. Huh. Yeah, what do I do about that? I mean, I could still counter with the pawn drop here. They take this and I continue running. I also have silver drop here as an idea. Hmm. Yeah, silver drop, I might just have to take the silver. Or I might have to run away and let them check and I continue running. And then they continue approaching. Um... Oh, jeez. What is this? What does this mean? Uh, I'm very confused. Like, even if all the other moves somehow were great, this one looks... Yeah, I just don't understand.
Maybe the idea is Rook takes. But I think I see a tactic in response to that. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I just, this is surprising. This is all very surprising here. Um. Yeah, I want to be greedy and pick up as much material as I can here, but I think this shows some restraint. Some very much needed restraint in this position. Um, that I need to be content with just taking a knight, or just taking this and getting an attack. And trying to checkmate the king immediately is just going to backfire on all variations. There were lines like knight drop here, knight drop here, pawn drop here, pawn drop, silver takes knight drop. None of these seemed sound. Or knight drop, silver up, pawn drop. Yeah, I couldn't find any way to get for any line to be perfect here. Um, so we'll settle for this. This looks really good, though. And really good, I think, is a big understatement. Or, like, there, I just don't have words to describe how good this looks. Uh, Sorry, I messed up my bot somehow. Looks like we don't get another proverb then. Um. Hmm. I mean, if I exchange my bishop here and drop the rook... They could drop silver. I could drop the silver here. The rook retreats. I was going to say I could corner the rook, but then gold takes. Um... Uh, 
Oh, wait, the gold's protecting two points here. Um, uh, if my knight drops, silver up, pawn drop, yeah, that looks fine. Um, let's see, if I sack my bishop, that's too much. It's almost not too much, but it is too much. Hmm. Wait, no. Okay. Ah. <sighs> so the proverb there was originally be heedful of two skillful lines. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna play this terribly unsubtle exchange. Which is just nice and pleasant. Or at least it looks so on the surface. Okay. Ah, uh, my opponent gets a pawn. So this was their idea. Or concept that if I do a rook drop, they will have a pawn to drop after all. I'm still doing this because I can drop a pawn and I can drop another pawn and then I can promote the rook. Alternatively, I could take the lance and then drop it. Same idea. Now, uh, pawn drop, silver retreats. Um, I have other ways to target this. My king's kind of a sitting duck, especially if I drop this pawn. I didn't think enough about that. Hmm. Some discretion advised. Well, plan B was to take the lance. It's still decent. Um, All right, we're going to continue with unsubtle moves here. Um,
30秒40秒Good thing there's no King Rook Fork. Um, これより秒読みに入ります。No, in the future there could be one. I don't want this point to drop. Interesting. Yeah, I'm confused. We're talking two different languages here, it seems. Um, my opponent is kind of insisting that I'm checkmated here. 
and I'm just completely blind to it somehow. If they take this gold, that, I don't see a next move for them. Well, I guess, yeah, they're threatening to take this, but... Um, yeah, I'm confused. Maybe I should have taken it now. Could have reinforced this somehow. Yeah. Okay. I have to... I think I have to take this. And then they can take this pawn. Oh, they're... okay. That's cool. Hmm. Sanjubiop I'm so concerned about them collecting my rook unless I get compensation for it. Um, so the question I'm trying to ask is, am I getting compensation if they end up somehow getting it? And I'm not even sure that they do get it. I guess them taking this pawn is by itself problematic. All right, fine. Um, let's make it exciting. I, I guess they are getting my rook now. If they take this. Um, but I think I live. Somehow I was thinking that blocking with the pawn increased my resistance. It doesn't actually help, does it? Um, Sanjubiop. <sighs> Go to the 
This is bad. Uh, this could be worse. If knight takes knight, rook takes. If knight takes gold, rook takes. If bishop takes rook, this pawn is not dropping. Well, no, it drops to rook fork. <laughs> so I have to do king takes. Um, that was close. Um, Pardon me there. So my opponent does have a gold general. But what can the second gold do that the first one can't? I guess they could drop it here. Sanju It's not a move I wanted to play. Um, but looking at pieces getting exchanged on this square, I just couldn't. Well, I guess silver takes, knight takes, lance takes. I could have run away and the lance promotes. But I think this way, bishop drop, lance drop. Um, bishop takes lance. I run. A oh, lance drop. Shit. I'm in trouble. <sighs> I'm in trouble. There's never a perfect move. This bishop was outliving its use. Um, Sanju 
30秒I just have to avoid a king rook fork here. I could probably even give up this rook and still. Well, I don't know. It's hard. Um, it's quite difficult. Lance, um, actually, a knight could be interesting. Pawn could also be interesting. Yeah, Pawn is definitely interesting here. Maybe I'm mated? If they take my rook, does this bishop rook and... Okay, yeah. If they take the rook with check, maybe I'm mated. Um, hmm. That's no good. Hmm. Sanju yeah, I think if I drop the rook with check, I get mated. So I have to do this rather appalling looking king move. Um. Sanju 
40秒50秒30秒 I'm pretty sure I'm dead here though I don't see a mate 40秒50秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。30秒。And、now see my king protects this point. 40秒。Which might help actually somehow. 50秒。1、2、3、4、5、6、7、8、9。Yeah, I should spend all my time calculating, but、um, that's to maximize a result. I should think that way. I don't want to maximize my stress. I don't mind if I lose this as a result of、um, failing to burn myself out trying. 30秒。40秒50秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9
30秒40秒 Up to this point, there were not other moves, but from here it gets complicated. 50秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 2000 2001 2002 2003 2004 2005 2006 2007 2008 2009 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2030 2031 2032 2033 2034 2035 2036 2037 2038 2039 2040 2041 2042 2043 2044 2045 2046 2047 2048 2049 2050 2051 2052 2053 2054 2055 2056 2057 2058 2059 2060 2070 2071 2072 2073 2074 2075 2076 2077 2078 2079 2080 2081 2082 2083 2084 2085 2086 2087 2088 2089 2090 2091 2092 2093 2094 2095 2096 2097 2008 2009 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2030 2031 2032 2033 2034 2035 2036 2037 2038 2039 2040 2041 2042 2043 2044 2045 2046 2047 2048 2049 2050 2051 2052 2053 2054 2055 2056 2057 2058 2059 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2030 2031 2032 2033 2034 2035 2036 2037 2038 2039 2040 2041 2042 2043 2044 2045 2046 2047 2048 2049 2050 2051 2052 2053 2054 2055 2056 2057 2058 2059 2060 2070 2071 2072 2073 2074 2075 2076 2077 2078 2079 2080 2081 2082 2083 2084 2085 2086 2087 2088 2089 2090 2091 2092 2093 2094 2095 2096 2097 2008 2009 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2030 2031 2032 2033 2034 2035 2036 2037 2038 2039 2040 2041 2042 2043 2044 2045 2046 2047 2048 2049 2050 2051 2052 2053 2054 2055 2056 2057 2058 2059 2060 2070 2071 2072 2073 2074 2075 2076 2077 2078 2079 2080 2081 2082 2083 2084 2085 2086 2087 2088 2089 2090 2091 2092 2093 2094 2095 2096 2097 2008 2009 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2030 2031 2032 2033 2034 2035 2036 2037 2038 2039 2040 2041 2042 2043 2044 2045 2046 2047 2048 2049 2050 2051 2052 2053 2054 2055 2056 2057 2058 2059 2060 2070 2071 2072 2073 2074 2075 2076 2077 2078 2079 2080 2081 2082 2083 2084 2085 2086 2087 2088 2089 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2030 2031 2032 2033 2034 2035 2036 2037 2038 2039 2040 2041 2042 2043 2044 2045 2046 2047 2048 2049 2050 2051 2052 2053 2054 2055 2056 2057 2058 2059 2060 2070 2071 2072 2073 2074 2075 2076 2077 2078 2079 2080 2081 2082 2083 2084 2085 2086 2087 2088 2089 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2
40秒50秒123456 Hmm. Wait, I need two golds if the king dives for the corner. Um, if it makes it this far. Thank you. I promise I'm not styling. If there were a better way to do this, um, I apologize for not doing the better way. I'm doing my best. Thanks for the game. Oh, that was tense. That was so tense. Chokey close games. End games. Yeah. Alright, so following the game, um, we get to review the game with the opponent. Um, okay, thank goodness. Uh, thank goodness they don't take offense at my curious play. Um, so, yeah, wow, what an adventure. Letting my rook drop without check was spooky. Um, mm, I don't think they can take the turkey. No, I don't think taking the token there um, works out. Uh, but yeah, if, if we assume that I have a forced mate from this, um, that's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah. Uh... 
Yeah, I thought them winning the Rook could be threat mate, but um, apparently it might not. Oh, right, pawn drop mate is never legal. I'm not going to contest whether or not I have threat mate, or whether or not I'm threat mated here. Um, so... Right, this is a variation. Um, oh, I see. This They don't take the rook. Oh my gosh. Do we have to recalculate everything? <laughs> um, sure. So... I mean, surely I just take this again? And we try to transpose into everything that actually transpired um but maybe maybe they dodge it somehow and i don't know um it feels like yeah they could invest their last piece to defend their king but then i'm fine or like somehow maybe moving the gold lives I'm not sure what to suggest here. Um, yeah, I don't fault them um, for uh, getting made it in this end game. Um, yeah, this, um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I can't let them evict my dragon because, like, my entire attack is predicated on being able to use that dragon, so... Um, yeah, and their entire defense was banking on this pawn gold shape that they got, so I had to break that, and I did break it. Should I have been able to break it? I don't know. There's, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I suspect as much. It either... The notion of being able to sacrifice the lance as an interference piece uh, suggests that either I missed a simpler idea earlier or that it's unnecessary somehow um, and that like, I still have some other way forward. Uh, our proverb at the beginning of the game was beware of two tricky lines or take heed of two tricky lines and i was cautious oh hmm let's see yeah so uh Uh, yeah, I missed that they had the silver drop to block it. Um, so, oh right, no, I, I remember now. Yeah, this was my other idea. Uh, shoot. Okay, this is... Yeah. This explains why I was so confused about, um, like, I was surprised that I had such an effective bishop drop, but it's not so effective. Right. Um, I guess I do get the pawn here. That's not nothing. It's pretty close to nothing, but it's not nothing. Hmm. 
do I have anything against... Yeah, I don't know about the Knight 5-5 five five idea, but... I think that, like, that position was more or less the crux of the entire game. Whether or not we could solve it in this post-game analysis session, I don't know, but... Um... Yeah, rook takes 7-7 seven, seven was probably necessary, because here I just get this absolutely immense, overwhelming initiative. Uh, yeah. Right, they need to just let me do some of these things, I guess. Um... And I guess, do I take that? I think I have to. Yeah. Oh, they're going to sacrifice the token again? Okay. Um. Huh. I don't know. Do I just, like, build a castle? <laughs> Is there something... Uh, I don't see a way to attack here. Like, I can't do this, right? Oh. Yeah, okay. I Yeah, I should take the lance. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes all the sense in the world here. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually better than the game. <laughs> yeah, I guess in the game they got mated, so we can accept that that keeping the knight in hand was better somehow. Um, we're kind of analyzing the game in reverse, and that's fine. Everybody has their own preference and style. In previous years, I would have objected to this as, like, this style of analysis is confusing, but it's, it's completely fine. Um, but, um, I guess for super, ro for beginners, analyzing from the beginning of the game is probably easiest to understand. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Originally, I, uh, yeah, so I was able to get my knight forward here, and that was fun. Um, yeah, and then I looked at this, and, uh, um, I, I couldn't find a way to make use of my bishop. Um... So, I did consider this, um, I just couldn't find a reasonable plan. But maybe I was just pessimistic. 
Geeko and other engines will suggest that I tend to be pessimistic sometimes and then just play something that looks crazy and then end up getting an initiative accidentally and it's fine, but um, it shouldn't have worked out. So it's kind of how many of my games go, where just an initiative flares uh oh yeah i think we're both very confused by this game anyway yeah cool um yeah typically we try to do more post-game analysis although this game we were both quite confused and that's fine um so i'll try to take up the torch from here um, yeah, so <laughs> my idea behind this was to try to better appreciate this opening. Um, and yeah, I forget if it's this silver move or silver, uh, 3-8 instead of 2-8. I don't remember. But this is supposed to slightly favor Senta somehow, and I was hoping to learn how from this game. I wasn't trying to play a trap or anything like that. Uh, this bishop move uh, does line up this attack. And they do have a castle. Um, and, like, this is cool, but they have a rook, bishop, and pawn attacking. Which is more than I've got attacking, but it's not four pieces. Um... And the only reason this looks promising is, like, initially I intended this silver takes, and then I saw this. So in retrospect, if I'd seen how threatening this was, I probably would have played this. And they probably would have just played some normal castling move, I don't know, something like one of these. And we would have had a more normal game, or maybe they push here, I don't know. I don't know how to play this. I was hoping to get a lesson here. Um, instead, they did this bishop sacrifice for a silver. And then, yeah, in post-game analysis, you saw them pointing out, like, well, the idea of this pawn drop. Um, I just couldn't find an initiative there, so I decided to play this super aggressive thing. And I almost sacrificed my silver. But then... I looked closer at this, and I just could not find a way for this rook to invade with gain of time. Um, so, like, yeah, I was expecting this. And starting to look, and you heard me commenting about um, this sort of thing. Um, and how if I run away, then they can keep attacking, and that looks really scary. Or alternatively, if I run away this way, they keep attacking still. And then this invade... Well, hang on. Hang on one second. My point was, during the game, was that I have this. Um, but then, I'm not sure what follows next. I guess knight takes. Uh, I was banking on having some kind of resource here. But as I was analyzing all that, um, I realized I have this possibly possibility. And then this takes back. Um, and then this. Um, that's one way. Oh, I don't have a knight in hand. If I had a knight, I could drop the knight. But I don't have a knight. Another possibility is silver. And threatening to take here. Um, and if they promote immediately, then I have this fork. Um, I don't know how they invade here. So... I don't... I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe they're supposed to reinforce this. But then I can reinforce that point. 
Or, I'm sorry, I could just take this pawn. Oh my gosh. Um, yes, yeah, so if I have a silver in hand, I have this threat. So them exchanging the rook for the bishop might be a pretty decent deal. Um, all things considered. It might not work out, though, because if I take here... Um, if these exchange, so we might have this. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I don't know what to make of this. Well, no, I, I have opinions. I'm starting to look at it. Uh, crazy shit, yo. <laughs> uh, so... Um, hmm. What do you do about this? This is such a hot mess. Maybe to avoid losing the bishop, we do this. Um, yeah. So, what does that mean? That, in turn, would suggest this gold takes silver. It's probably my way to go. If some of those lines don't work out, there's got to be some other line somewhere. Uh, but, yeah, I think blocking with this... Also, I just don't... I don't have to regard this with any attention, I don't think. Uh, well, no, the reason I'm paying attention is because silver takes I can't take back. Because they're... Well, they're not mate. I thought that would be mate with gold drop, but I have rook takes. So never mind. I'm just hallucinating all over the place here. Um, how did we get here? Pawn drop, silver drop was the sequence of moves, which were all logically following from the sacrifice. Um, it's a bit presumptive to suggest that the entire game logically followed from this opening. Oh yeah, and then the knight drop um, was not something that my opponent favored after all. Uh, during the game they liked it, but yeah, maybe something more like this maybe, but uh, it's, it's still spooky. Uh, yeah, no, I'm better in either event here, so... I guess the conclusion is that this bishop sacrifice that was prompted by this knight move um, looks a bit much. Looks a bit extreme. And sacrificing it over here doesn't seem any better. Um, so from that... What do we think? I don't know. I'm not sure what to think. Like, Pontex Pawn provoked the knight capture, which provoked the sacrifice. Um, this did catch me off guard. Um, yeah, and I was not expecting to play knight takes, and, but... In retrospect, it doesn't look so bad. Oh, right. I had another thought about this. Um, so, since I have this point covered, and so since they have the center point covered, they could consider a bishop exchange. And I don't see how I could effectively use my bishop after this point. So this might more calmly exploit the fact that I've moved my knight out and don't really know what I'm going to do with it exposed like this. Um, this is probably, yeah, the... Uh, I'm missing words here, but this is probably the calm uh, response here that just 
pours water all over my beautiful attack and points out that I just never had an attack to begin with. And this pawn advance where I'm trying to provoke exchanges and get my rook out, um, that forces me to advance my knight in the first place. That this whole advance here is unsound on account of now I've got my knight moved out and like this is just a target. Um, I mean that's one calmer way to look at it. Another calmer way to look at this, they don't even need the bishop exchange. They're just threatening to do this outright. What I'm trying to do is force this open but they can beat me to the punch. Whether or not they take this first. Hmm. Yeah, I... Am I really all bluff and no attack here? Sure looks that way. Well, no, I've got some attack, but it's not hard to deal with. Um... Oh... Uh, you know how I was commenting about bishop 2-8 versus bishop 3-8 at some... Or silver 2-8, silver 3-8. You know where that could have been useful. You know where having a silver on 3-8 could have been useful? Hang on. Hang on. There. Having the silver on 3-8... <laughs> This wouldn't happen. Like, whether or not the king dives into the corner, I don't know. But the silver on 3-8, I can't take this for free. So, like, oh man. This game, I was stupidly lucky. I was not trying to play traps, but um, apparently that's what happened. And apparently this all checkmates by force. Or my opponent somehow uh, cooperated. Um, one thing that had occurred to me is what about this check? Uh, if this blocks. What if we try this? And this goes here. And I just could not... I struggled with this. Um, I mean, maybe I should just take the bishop and hope that there's a mate somewhere. But it feels like if there's a mate, there's one that doesn't take the horse. Um, so... Hmm. If there's one that does involve a horse being taken, there's surely one that is just not of that same variety. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I need multiple. If I drop a gold and then silver and then gold, I don't have a fourth general to drop. Yeah, I only got three generals here to drop. Oh, wait a second, though. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Wrong button. Wrong button. So... I have a knight that can go here? Wait a second. But then... I don't have a silver here anymore. Um... Does that matter? Why am I looking at this? Because it's funny. <laughs> That's why. It's entertaining. Um, yeah. So what I got carried away with a second ago was this possibility. And then trying to find if there's a mate here or not. But I forgot that there's a no silver here. So like, silver, gold, gold, gold takes. It's just not... Uh, it doesn't work because the king escapes into the corner. Yes, yeah, so, okay. Yeah, probably just take this. 
Oh, actually, I could drop the knight here. Um, this check. And then... Um, I guess I'm torturing myself because I feel like there must have been an easier way about this. This check. This check. And if the king instead advances... Um, this also mates. So that's the fast way about it. Uh, I guess. And in the side variation, if this... Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. Never mind, then. Maybe, um, maybe the variation is with this drop after all. But then this drop... Oh. Okay. Yeah. Three. Four. So that wasn't so bad. <laughs> that was comparatively painless. Uh, instead, we took the long route. Okay, that's fine. A checkmate is a checkmate. Um, yeah, and if here, because the knight contributes, this is much easier to figure out, but still. Um, yeah, this would have been the clean way to do it. That would have looked super awesome. We didn't do that. Um, wait, so, oh right, but this would all assume that they don't block. Right, and during the game, I was thinking, well, oh wait, they can't block with a pawn. Uh, they could still block with a different piece. Okay. Right, so this is still complicated. <laughs> There's no easy solution. There's no quick path to success. Okay, but this would make me feel safer that I'm probably not myself getting mated. But anyway, yeah, I made all these contact... Well, actually, they could have blocked here. Yeah. Um... They're so fixated on trying to keep their pieces and preserve a mating something or other over here, although they don't have one. Um, but they could have blocked this check somehow, I guess with this. And then the end game is lost, but it's still up to me to find a mate. Yeah, I think this, I would have found this more challenging for me to try to win against. Um, so that's probably uh, the point at which our spirits were both broken. I forget what happened with the clock. It was chaos. Um, yeah. So, anyway, uh, the point I was trying to raise is that if the silver were protecting the gold, um, none of this would have happened. Um, so, at the end of the game, I try to make some sort of conclusion. Um, this game, I tried to play an opening to better learn it. And I think we did learn at least something about it. Uh, yeah, I remember now that this protects this point and that if Gota does take here, uh, in turn, Senta can capture here. And Hidechi explains this. And that this is favorable for Senta because this king is more open, this rook is harder to use than this rook is. So this position favors Senta. 
and attempting to exchange here doesn't simplify matters either. There's just far too many weaknesses to be concerned about. Uh, I don't know how this would go, necessarily. Oh, but then this bishop's trapped. So, yeah. Um, yeah there's no easy way to bail out of this. Uh, so I played this, which might be a sideline. I was not super familiar with. Um, our opponent built a generic castle. I don't know which one. But from yesterday's discussion, it sounds like in Swinging Rook versus Swinging Rook that this is a pretty common notion with the idea of trying to build the fortress um, with the silver up and gold up being one key idea in Swinging Rook versus Swinging Rook. Now, this hasn't moved yet, but I do play uh, Swinging Rook a lot of the time. But this is a bishop exchange converted into wrong diagonal bishop. Anyway, so yeah, I think despite this not going how either of us had planned, I think we still both learned something from this experience. Um, I learned one, that I need to study this a bit more. But two, um, yeah, that seemingly this sideline is somewhat playable, even though if you go into the side, the variation where both colors promote their bishops, um, that this ends up being a really hot mess. So yeah, this does merit further study. On the other hand, um, we get to see a reinforcement of the proverb that you need to attack with, what was it, lance, knight, silver, pawn, rook, something. Something where you're using minor pieces and major pieces in harmony. And here our opponent made a very solid attempt at that. Like here they used a rook, a pawn, and a silver. Uh, it just wasn't enough to overwhelm my position. So this bishop sacrifice ended up being a bit much. Um, that in combination with this slightly weakened castle was pretty risky. It was an exciting game, but um, yeah, I don't suspect that my opponent's going to repeat this variation with the same sacrifice anytime soon. So, yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed this game. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.